These are two USB displays from Waveshare. Two different sizes, that's five inch, that's seven inch. Now, not only are the sizes are different, their purposes are completely different as well. This one, this larger screen, can be used as a secondary PC monitor. And you can see I'm running my desktop on here. And we're gonna be using this one with SimHub, so the main emphasis of this video is about using this one. But uh, since I also have this one, I thought I'd show it off as just some extra content, because it is a nice little gizmo. You run um, their client software on your PC, it runs in the background, and it will then show information like that. It comes in lots of different templates. Um, you can run it in that orientation or that way. There's templates for both. And you can also you know, flip it around in the software as well if you prefer it this way, depending on how your cable is sticking out. Um, you, there's actually three different USB sockets on here. They all do the same thing, but it depends if you prefer the, you know, to be plugged in there or even here, which is um, a socket that runs to your the USB header on your motherboard. It does come with the cabling for that, so you get a regular USB Type-C to A, plus there, that's the plug that you'd plug into your motherboard if you were to run it via that one. Um, there's a little SD card in there, so that's what stores the, um, uh, the templates, and that's included, so it's all out of the box. You can you know, run it and it's going to work, um, just using their client software. These are metal brackets that you can attach to the back for mounting, um, screws also included, and uh, you also have these sticky pads as well. So if you want something permanent, you can use these as well. So that works just fine, but uh, there you go. I'll show you installed in my PC because I have a plan for this. I think it's gonna look really nice in my uh, system. You know, obviously the video is about this, guys. Um, that's the one we're interested in. Um, the accessories that came with this is a stand. Won't be needing that, but it does include that. Uh, plus, same cabling. Um, also, USB Type-C um, to A, and also the USB uh, header socket for your motherboard, because on the side, there's also one of those as well. So, you know, if you want to put it internally, you could do it. Not for sim racing, you won't, but, you know, if you were to plant it inside your PC for some reason, you can do that. Plus some larger brackets. So it's the same sort of deal, plus that kind of stand. Um, aluminium case resolution of this is a 1024 by 600 IPS screen. Uh, they're both IPS screens, so you've got really good viewing angles. On the back, uh, the mounting uh, holes for using the brackets, or you could just, you know, maybe use it for something else. You want to screw, screw it onto something that works. For mounting this, my plan ordinarily would be to model a basic bracket with a one inch ball on there uh, for a RAM mount. But uh, in the meantime, because I just want to get on with this one, guys, I have this tablet holder, which is a RAM mount thing with a uh, one inch ball on the back. And that does carry this uh, very nicely. So uh, in the interim, until I uh, sort that out, I'm going to be using this and that will uh, do the job for me very nicely. To set up this 7 inch display, you will need to install the driver. There's a wiki page link on the product page and here you'll find the driver to download. After that, there's also a config file you need to manually copy over, and that's a bit further down the page. If you skip that part, what happens is the screen will look like this, with a big black bar on one side. In my rush to get this working, I made this error myself, so I'm just letting you know. Unlike me, do read the wiki page instructions. Now we have the display up and running, it's off we go to SimHub, and this takes just 30 seconds to set up. Go to Devices and click Add New Device. Next, select Generic Monitor. Finally, select the target monitor to be used for the dashboard display. Pick your dashboard selection from the list, and there you have it. It's ready to use. Seven inch is a good size for a dashboard display, particularly for reading small text and symbols. The resolution is producing a sharp image, 
the refresh rate is 60 hertz so everything is moving along very nicely here just a single usb cable and easy to set up as i've demonstrated yeah this is a slick mini monitor that works rather well as a sim racing dashboard display priced at 47 dollars so it's not expensive and appears to be a good quality item as far as i can see here nice aluminium case and sturdy so decent value for money i'd say um, i do fancy keeping this on the rig so eventually I will get around to 3D printing a custom RAM mount bracket for this. When I do, um, I will drop a link to the STL file in the description if that's of interest to you. Before I sign off on this one, um, here's what I did with the other display. I think it adds a really nice touch to my PC, don't you think? I'll let this play out for a little longer so you can see it working, but that's it from me for this one. I'll catch you next time, uh, so thanks very much for watching, and until next time, happy simming, and bye-bye.